Well, uh, it was a great year. Uh, it was a bit stressing for us because uh, we had to move uh, the show from uh, the Hyatt Hotel to the Congress, uh, the, uh, the Palais des Congrès in Montreal. And but people came. We actually doubled our uh, tickets revenues from last year. So uh, lots of guitar lovers made it to the guitar show. And uh, I was very happy about also the many concerts that we produced. We had some amazing players. Uh, very uh, very excited to see for the first time in Canada, Monty Montgomery, for example, or Sylvain Provo, a Montreal, Montrealer guitar player that should be known all over the world. So we had so many uh, that were exciting and uh, the Luthier were happy because they got you know, to meet so many people interested in guitar making. You spoke during the press conference about the Blues Scan, uh, which was a hit again this year. Can you tell, tell us a bit more about uh, how, it, how, it actually, uh, how it went? Well, this is very important to us because uh, this truly is something that changed some people's lives. Uh, you have to imagine that uh, we take 55 teenagers aged between 13 and 17 years old and they spend a whole week with us with true professional musicians and then at the end of the, show, of, of, of the week they do play one of the major jazz festival stage presenting original materials for the first time and these kids when they start they don't know each other so it's a true experience that is under of and uh, it does change their life so it makes us very proud for young musicians taking the stage during the day uh, on the big stage is a lifetime opportunity I think it might be all also a life-changing experience. We were mentioning that Jeff Beck's uh, producer or manager caught uh, one of these young bands on the stage and said, well, that was a great, great show. Uh, yeah. I was, I was touched to see this gentleman who is a producer of main international acts like Jeff Beck or Led Zeppelin in London and he did stop to one of the jazz bands uh, from one of the high school around Montreal and watched the show and came to me and said that he was impressed by the quality of these young musicians and that's what, what it's all about, you know, uh, for close to 30 years the Jazz Festival has been programming young uh, teenager jazz bands from uh, all over Quebec and uh, this makes us very proud. 